What's up guys, it's your girl Nisha Nyla and today I am back with another video. Only been a few hours but it felt like days Only been days but it felt like months Only gone for a year, only go like once Life move fast when you do what you want so, as you guys can see by the title today, I will be discussing the vocabulary section of the HESI A2 exam version one. That's the only version that I'll be discussing because it's the only version that I took. But I'll be telling you guys specific words that you need to know the meaning of, as well as specific words that you need to know how to spell in order to pass the vocabulary section of the HESI A2 exam. You guys have been on my but. Ever since I posted the very first HESI A2 exam, um, kind of like a recap overview to like let you guys know what you needed to know, I posted that one and then I posted another one specifically for anatomy. If you did not watch those, be sure to check those out. They will be linked down below in the description box. And ever since I posted those two have been telling me that you guys will like a video on the vocabulary section and the math section. So this video is going to be on the vocabulary section. I will do another video on the math section, maybe sometime later on throughout the week. I know I'm lately, you know, it's towards the ending of the semester. So I've really been focused on exams and papers for the most part. But I was like, let me make sure I do this video. And I got a really funny DM yesterday in regards to like the whole HESI A2 thing. Um, this girl DM'd me and she sent me a link to the first video I made. And she said, how are you going to give us the recipe but not all the ingredients? And then she put like math and vocabulary in parentheses <laughs> on the side. So I thought that was really, really funny. And that DM is one of the main reasons that i'm doing this video now but before i planned on doing it but i was gonna do it like sometime throughout the week but i figured i have free time today so i'm gonna sit down let you guys know what you need to know in order to pass the vocabulary section if you guys study what i tell you guys to study know the meaning of the words that i'm about to list off know how to spell the words that i'm also about to let you guys know you guys will be fine um the vocabulary section is not hard as long as you study for one and for two use your context clues um a lot of the sentences on the vocabulary portion kind of give away the meaning of the word you just have to use your context clues but without further ado I'm not gonna ramble too much before i get into the video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram it'll be linked down below in the description box and it will also be on the screen and without further ado let's just get into the video Okay, so I'm going to start off by telling you guys the words that I had to spell. There were only two words that I had to know how to spell, and those two words were patient and medication. The question will be like, which of the following is the correct spelling? And then it'll give you four different ways to spell medication, as well as four different ways to spell patient. There's only two questions like that, but those are two easy questions that you don't need to miss if you simply know how to spell patient and medication. I'm going to spell both of those words for you guys right now. Patient is P-A-T-I-E-N-T. -E Again, patient, P-A-T-I-E-N-T. -E the next word was medication, medication, M-E-D-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. Make sure you guys know how to spell those again because those are two easy points that you don't want to miss. Why would you want to miss easy questions like that? Those are, those are a given, you know what I mean? So patient and medication, make sure you know how to spell those two. I did list out the rest of the words that I remember from my exam as well as from some of the Quizlet that I had linked down below. So I'm going to run off the list, but I will be looking down at my computer because I did type up the list up here. The first word you need to know is seize, which means to stop or bring to an end. The next word you need to know is enjima. Enjima is spelled E-N-I-G-M-A which means mysterious or difficult. The next word you need to know is constrict. Constrict is spelled C-O-N-S-T-R-I-C-T, which means to make smaller. The next word you need to know is fundamentals. And fundamentals just means basic. Fundamentals is spelled F-U-N-D-A-M-E-N-T-A-L-S. The next word you need to know is comprehensive. 
C-O-M-P-R-E-H-E-N-S-I-V-E, which means to understand something or something is thorough. The next word you need to know is impending, I-M-P-E-N-D-I-N-G, which means soon to occur. The next word you need to know is ostracize, ostracize, O-S-T-R-A-S-I-Z-E, which means to exclude someone. So for ostracize on the HESI exam for the vocabulary section, it's not going to be a question to where it's like which word means to exclude someone and ostracize would be one of your choices. Rather than it being that, it's going to give you a sentence and it's going to ask you basically like which word means to exclude someone and the correct choice is going to be ostracize. The next word you need to know is concise, C-O-N-C-I-S-E, which means being straight to the point. The next word you need to know is assistant, A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-C-E, which is to assist or help someone. The next word you need to know is dilute, D-I-L-U-T-E, which means to make weaker. The next word you need to know is patent, P-A-T-E-N-T, -E which means closed. The next word you need to know is osmosis, O-S-M-O-S-I-S. -S. You also need to know the definition of osmosis for your anatomy section, so you should be fine with that word already. But osmosis means the higher the concentration, the lower. The next word you need to know is elevated. Elevated is spelled E-L-E-V-A-T-E-D, which means to keep something up. For example, your patient needs to keep their feet elevated. The next word you need to know is flexon, which is spelled F-L-E-X-O-N, which is the bending of a joint. The next word you need to know is rigidity, and it is spelled R-I-G-I-D-I-T-Y, which means the ability to change. The next word you need to know is anterior, which is spelled A-N-T-E-R-I-O-R. -E you should already know that word again from anatomy, but if you don't, anterior means the front. The next word you need to know is impervious. Impervious is spelled I-M-P-E-R-V-I-O-S, which means it's not effective. The next word you need to know is disable. Disable is spelled D-I-S-A-B-L-E-D, which means not well liked. The next word you need to know is residual. Residual is spelled R-E-I-S-I-D-U-A-L which means remaining or left. The next word you need to know is omnius, which is spelled O-M-I-N-O-U-S, which means bad or dangerous. The next word you need to know is supplement, which is spelled S-U-P-P-L-E-M-E-N-T, which means to add to. The next word you need to know is prefer, which is spelled P-R-E-F-E-R. The meaning is to desire something over something else. The next word you need to know is imply. It is spelled I-M-P-L-Y and it means to consent to something. The next word you need to know is chronology. C-H-R-O-N-O-L-O-G-Y, which means to put something in order. The next word you need to know is excess. E-X-C-E-S-S which means more than what is needed or having too much of something. The next word you need to know is adhere, A-D-H-E-R-E, -E, which means to stick to or bond to something. The next word you need to know is justification, J-U-S-T-I-F-I-C-A-T-I-O-N, which means to prove something is right. The next word you need to know is effect, a-F-F-E-C-T, which means the appearance of an observable emotion. The next word you need to know is insidious. I-N-C-I-D-I-O-U-S, which means so gradual to not become apparent for a long time. The next word you need to know is liable. L-A-B-I-L-E, which means changing rapidly. The next word you need to know is latent. 
L-A-T-E-N-T, -E which means present but not active. The next word you need to know is predispose, P-R-E-D-I-S-P-O-S-E, -E, which means to make more susceptible or more likely to occur. The next word you need to know is prognosis, P-R-O-G-N-O-S-I-S, -S, means the anticipated outcome. The next word you need to know is untoward, U-N-T-O-W-A-R-D, which means adverse, negative, or unseemingly. The next word you need to know is laceration, L-A-C-E-R-A-T-I-O-N, which is a cut or a tear. The next word you need to know is viscosity, V-I-S-C-O-S-I-T-Y which is a liquid that's resistant to a flow. The next word you need to know is febrile, F-E-B-R-I-L-E, -E, which means feverish. The next word you need to know is sublingual, S-U-B-L-I-N-G-U-A-L, -L, which means under the tongue. The next word you need to know is convulsion, C-O-N-V-U-L-S-I-O-N, which is a violent disturbance. Okay, so the words that I just listed are the words that I specifically remember from my Hesiae 2 vocabulary section, as well as the Quizlet that I use. So definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you know those words. Make sure you know the meaning of them, how to spell them. And that's really it, except for ostracize. Just know that it means to exclude someone and remember that it's going to give you a sentence and you have to basically choose the word that has the correct meaning of what the sentence is implying, if that makes sense. But I'm also going to give you guys a few of these prefixes that I know from this textbook. And it actually helped me on the exam for a few words that I did not know or I did not study. These prefixes helped me figure out the correct answer. So the first prefix is going to be anti, A-N-T-I, which means against. The next prefix is going to be for, F-O-R-E, which means before. The next prefix is going to be M-I-S, which means wrongly. The next prefix is going to be non, N-O-N, which means not. The next prefix is going to be over, which means over. The next prefix is going to be pre, P-R-E, which means before. The next prefix is going to be super, S-U-P-E-R, which means above. So there are going to be certain words up there that may or may not have those prefixes. So if you know those prefixes, it strays you away from the wrong answers and kind of points you in the right direction. For the vocabulary section, I genuinely want to say, other than knowing the words, the vocabulary section is not super complex. It's really the basics. As long as you know the words that I just ran off, you should be fine. Um, it's not difficult at all. But yeah, it was pretty much pretty basic, um, pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, the only two words I had to know how to spell were medication and patient. So, I mean, if you are a nursing major, I feel like you should know how to spell those words either way. But hey, if you don't, I told you how to spell them. But if you just study what I told you, know how to spell those words, you will be fine. That's pretty much it. I'm trying to think of any other tips and tricks that I use for the vocabulary section. But again, it is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty straight to the point. So other than the words that I just ran off, I use the Quizlet to study for my vocabulary section. I use the Quizlet and I think I found one YouTube video and it was very helpful. Um, that YouTube video had a few of these words in it also. And I watched that video before my exam and they were up there, so it was very helpful. That's all I got, honestly, for the vocabulary section because it wasn't very difficult. Just know how to spell those words, know the meaning, and you'll be fine. There's only, I wanted to say 25, but I know that was for the anatomy section. 
There may be more words for the vocabulary section. I mean, more questions. There may be more questions for the vocabulary section than I can remember. I can't remember exactly how many questions were up there. But again, if you just stick to what I told you in this video, you will be fine. Being said, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what else you guys would like to see on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know you guys want the math video. And between exams and essays, I'm going to fit in the math video. Today is November 30th. So this video for sure will be up by tomorrow, 630 Quote me on it. I put a date on it. It's rare for me to actually put a date on things because when you don't put a date on it, it gives you a little bit of leeway. But I'm going to put a date on it because this video will be up by tomorrow for sure, without a doubt. Now, the math video, I'm going to put a date on it. I'm, I'm going to do my big one. I'm going to put a date on it. Okay, so for the math video, I'm going to try to have the math video up by December 4th. With that being said, if the math video is not up by December 4th, Y'all have all right to, you know, get in the comments and get on my A. You know what I mean? Go ahead and be like, where's the math video? You said December 4th. It's December 6th. That's not going to happen, though. That's not going to happen because why? It's going to be up by December 4th. But I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't checked out my previous Hesie 2 exam videos, I'm going to link them down below in the comment section. And be sure to check those out. Also, check out the comments. Everything that I'm giving you guys, all the tips and tricks, they're all accurate. They've helped people before, which is why I said check out the comments. Check out the reviews on me. You know what I mean? Check out the reviews on the information that I'm giving y'all. Is it accurate? Is it false? Of course it's accurate. Why would it be false? Check the comments. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. But like I said before, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Misha with two A's and two A's. H's link down below in the description box on the screen and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.